Let's bring in Deborah Yedlin. She's the president and CEO of Calgary's Chamber of Commerce. Deborah, good to see you again. Appreciate your time today. Thanks for having me. What are you hearing from your members? Well, we want to see a government that's looking, that's forward looking, that talks about what uh, the opportunity that exists for Alberta and its future. We want to see more collaboration, uh, not division, so that we can move forward in terms of seizing the opportunities that lay ahead for the province from an economic standpoint. We know that Danielle Smith with the UCP has often said that Rachel Notley and the NDP are anti-business. I mean, is that a fair accusation? What do you think? Well, I, you know, I think that everybody's got a view in terms of how they want to cast the opposition. Certainly uh, when Notley was premier, uh, you know, they uh, managed to convince the government to, to, to buy uh, TMX. It was a tough time uh, that when they came into, into, into office. Certainly, uh, we need to see competitive tax rates. Uh, we need the corporate tax rate to stay where it is. Uh, we need to see small businesses remain competitive. And we also need to see uh, the, the, uh, the, the incoming government match the uh, incentives that have been put forward by the federal government from an investment tax credit so that we can seize the opportunity presented by uh, you know, the changing energy landscape in terms of carbon capture and storage, carbon capture utilization and storage, hydrogen. Uh, we need to see some more tangible uh, credits and uh, policies put forward by the incoming government, which we have yet to see in a tangible way. What do you think is the biggest challenge, Deborah, when it comes to businesses operating in Calgary itself? Well, you know, obviously businesses in Calgary are facing so many of the same issues that uh, businesses across the country are facing, and that's talent. That is, uh, you know, supply chain issues, affordability issues. So there's, you know, there's a myriad of things that we that we face on a daily basis. I, I would say the talent piece is huge and making sure that we continue to attract investment so that we can diversify the economy. Obviously, if there's one thing we've learned over and over again, and I think now it's finally resonated, is that we have to make sure we continue on the path to economic diversification. We've made great strides. We want to see that continue. We also want to see a government that recognizes it needs to be competitive with the Inflation Reduction Act and make, position the province to attract uh, investment into, in, into the uh, energy sector as it continues to evolve. Interesting to think, as always, or often is the case, Calgary being a real battleground and may well decide what happens on Monday night. Yeah, and it, you know, as, as you mentioned, you know, we've seen record turnouts for, for, for the advanced polls already. Certainly everybody's sign watching, trying to figure out, you know, what uh, ridings may have an advantage over others. And I don't think we've ever seen the battleground as hotly contested in Calgary as it is actually going to be taking place uh, right now. It's, it's really unprecedented. Deborah Yedlin, President and CEO of Calgary's Chamber of Commerce. Good to see you, Deborah. Thank you for this.